Oh my god, I lied to you guys that there's four total measurements that we need to take into consideration as getting our first corset. So go get your measuring tape, I will wait. There's actually a lot more measurements, but this is our first time, so we're just gonna stick with the four main measurements, okay? We have our underbust is number one, our waist is number two, hips is number three, and our fourth measurement is our torso length, from the underbust down to the hip measurement. Okay, let's measure and I'll give you guys a little example. Measurement is your underbust, and this is, you know, around your bra where your bra strap is. Mine is 34-ish, 34, 34 and a half-ish inches. It can be below your bra strap or right on your bra strap, depending on how high you want your corset to go. But I usually do it right under my bra strap. So take into consideration if you're bloated or not, if you're having you know a good day or a bad day, depending on what you think that is, what you consider good and bad to be. Um, this is a kind of okay day for me. I'm at a 31 and a quarter inch. Usually I'm 30 inches in my waist. So let's just stick with 30 inches, shall we? Let's measure our hips. So you can either measure your upper hip, which is where your hip starts, or down here where your hip kind of meets your, I guess, pubic bone. So I like to do it up here because I sit down for the majority of the day and I don't want my corsets digging into my hip flexor. I have had that happen to me in the past and it's not fun. So I'm gonna measure up here, which is I think about like four inches below your belly button. That's where your upper hip is. So. Mine is 36. If I want to do my lower hip and I want to get maybe a longer corset, I'm you know measuring over clothes, but it's usually 38 inches. Measurement is from your underbust, so where you measured up here down to your hips. So I'm gonna measure standing up and sitting down, and I'll tell you why in a bit. So standing up, it is about nine and a half inches. Now, if I have a lot of, you know, cushion down here, I may want my corset to go all the way down to almost touching my hip flexor, the crease right here. So I may as well get an 11 inch corset if I want to measure all the way down or like 10 and a half ish, give or take. But the thing is, is that I sit down for the majority of my day. So I want a corset that is not going to hurt me. So what you can do is also measure sitting down from your underbust and go down to your lap. Just kind of like rest the measuring tape on your lap. Sit up straight, of course. And mine is about eight and a half inches. But when I stand up, it comes up to here, like up to my shirt. But when I sit down, you understand? Let's go over my measurements. My waist is 30 inches. My underbust is 34. My upper hip is 36 and my lower hip is 38 and my torso length depending if i'm standing or sitting is between nine and a half and 11 inches we got all four of our measurements now we need to figure out what size corset we should get so i was a 30 inch waist right my natural waist is 30 inches and I can either get a four inch reduction corset or a six inch reduction corset. I decided to go with a four inch reduction corset because I want to just do it a little bit more slower. I've always done it super fast, so let's just slow it down a bit. So this is a 26 inch corset because 30 minus 26 is four. There we go. So when this corset is completely closed, I have a four inch reduction, okay? That's how I find our corset size. Now let's move up to our rib spring. So my underbust measurement was a 34, right? So 34 minus my corset size. So it's your underbust minus your corset size. So 34 minus 26 is eight. Therefore, my rib spring is eight inches. Your rib spring just kind of gives you a little bit more leeway so that when my corset is completely closed, my entire back fat isn't like peeling over the corset and it just gives me a little bit more wiggle room up here in my ribs. So let's figure out our hip spring now. So our hip spring is our hip measurement minus our corset size. So I did my upper hip, which was 36, minus my corset, which is 26. Therefore, my hip spring is 10 inches. If I wanted a bit more of a longer corset for whatever reason, maybe I have more cushion down here and I want it to, I want the corset to hold that down here as well, I would do my lower hip, which was 38, minus my corset size, which is 26. Therefore, that would give me a 12 inch hip spring. Starting my torso length, this corset is 
about nine and a half inches in the front, but then on the side, it is about seven inches. Don't pay too much attention to the side, have the measurement on the sides. Mainly just focus on, you know, one measurement, two measurement, three measurement, and four measurement. Because I think if you have too many numbers going on in your head, you're just gonna be like, screw it, I don't wanna do this anymore. So just focus on those four measurements. So your torso length determines if you're a short torso corset, average torso corset, or a long line torso corset. So this corset is, you know, nine and a half inches, especially when I'm sitting down. I got a short torso corset because like I said, I sit down all the time and I didn't want the corset being super long on me. Um, I always have had long line corsets. Like this is a really old long line corset, but as you can see, it does go down to my hip flexors. I don't know if you can see that. It goes down to my hip flexors. And when I sit down, it's just, it's not comfortable at all. It is like digging into my hip flexor and my lap. So it's too long for me sitting down. But when I stand up, it would probably be almost perfect. It's if I'm standing up all the time, which I'm not. And then the average torso corset is, you know, in between this waspy, this short torso corset and a long line torso corset. So it just all depends on how long you want your corset to be, whether or not you are sitting for the majority of the day or standing up for the majority of the day. Keep that in mind. I don't want you to like be in pain when you're wearing your corset because you got it too long. So those are the four main measurements. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Mwah.